Yep, that's the plug. That's the park. <laughs> nice fish. <sighs> yes. So yeah, so I was looking today for a cool bite. And I get what I came for. Yeah, just uh, need to remove the hooks. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's and yeah, she is going away. Yeah, that's a fish. I get two bites. I've been in here, guys, a few weeks ago. I've been fished like six minutes, about 50 minutes, but from the every six, every two casts, I have a fight. So there we go. There's another one, but just a much more smaller one. Jack pike. Eh, beautiful fish. There we go. Straight away, and get the hook out. Just a nice walk. I basically just want to show you a nice walk by the canal. Nice walk by the canal. Two pikes in the net. Like half an hour. There you go. Let's get the lure out. There's a fish. Fish on, guys. Small jack pike. Yeah. Small fish, but very beautiful. Come on. I'm very pleased. Let's come on. There you go. Beautiful small fish. Another beautiful fish. So just put it back. Very angry little jack, but very mint looking. As you can see, there is no hurts in the mouth. Jaws is quite clear. Very beautiful fish. Let's release it and try to catch another one. Maybe there's some more fish. I 
I choose today the vibrating blue is because there's a lot of small bait fish around and they feed the pipes they're feeding on those small fish bait fish and when they are in the big bunch the small baits they like they make the quite big vibration and the pikes they're not hunting they're not choosing like or chasing like one fish one single fish they're chasing like a whole bunch and like a, exactly like a whales they just open the mouth and swim in that small bunch and trying to catch as much as possible those fish so I choose the vibrating glue just because of this and uh, so when my lure is low vibrating the pike in this dirty water she's can locate my lure much more easier and her strike will be more effective than the other lures for example like a like a flies because the flies is there's no vibrating that much it's just making splash but in a dirty water it's not is you can't see that properly those splashes so you need some vibrating too and my way and my flies doesn't have any like a uh, tails like a big tails or something so I decided to come with the jerk, jerk rod and use the wobbler lure just to try to catch something and there we go I'm using small flashing and uh, giving like a high vibrating lure it's very small basically nearly nearly same size like a bait fish around and when the sun is comes out I just keep twitching this this lure and this gives some shine as well and the pikes can't can't say no to this lure so it's not the first pike for this on this lure so really great so let's try to get something more see there's no try to cast a couple more times there's no answer from another pipe then I will try to swap the lure to much bigger one as you can see I'm twitching and the lure is gives some shine and vibration so the bikes can locate easily and they can strike perfect question how to how to take that out now there's a lot of those in here yeah there's plenty of them quite nice because before I catch the small jack pike in there just under the under the bridge yes yes well, I'll leave just under the bridge yeah but tell you what you can take it down down yeah sure sure yeah not a problem so this will be all so, come on. 
the line there and he slided. Yeah. There's loads of loads of pikes in this place now because you know there's a lot of uh, small bait fish around. Yeah. And th those pikes, they are hunting them. Yeah. It's a very beautiful one. No problem. So guys, beautiful fish, grab it again. So just put it back in the net and try to release it. Let's do it what he's always doing it. session when it went well four pikes I think it's good result for such a weather like this sunny cloudy sunny cloudy you don't know what lures proper to choose it and everything so basically I choose my favorite lure the wobbling lure which one I showed you before and it was doing the job well today so hope it will do the job next time too uh, okay so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.